Hey guys, I just thought I'd sh quickly show you the inside of my, what I've, I'm calling them controller units, but you could call them an ECU. Um, so inside this one, this one deals with the uh, indicators and hazards. Um, so inside this box, there's a lid, um, is a series of diodes to control the flow of um, electric, so it can only go one way. Um, and I've written on all these, you can see all the labels on here and all these wires. Uh, it looks like there's heaps of wires and it looks complicated but actually it's a really really simple circuit uh, so it comes from a because I've got LED lights on this mini um, it comes from the fuse box to a LED flasher relay um, and then straight into this unit uh, most of the wires um, but there is a feed from a hazard switch and the hazard switch is just a simple um, two pole switch uh, there's no um, this it's not complicated like a normal uh, hazard switches uh, on a dash so it's a, it's really simple um, so that is either on or off uh, the if the on comes into here then that kind of overrides uh, the indicators and then all the hazard light comes comes on um, yeah so I've got a wire up two relays to go in this box uh, so I'll terminate all these onto the relay and put those into this box. What I might do is actually uh, make holes through that cover so I can actually push the relays in from the top. I don't know how successful that's going to be because um, more than likely however I try and fix them in there when when you're pushing on the relay it may burst them out the other side so I might just have to try and tuck them inside the box and just leave them sort of. I, I wanted to make it quite a solid you know the fixture in there so there's less chance of any issues which is why I've gone for these boards you can see they're screwed down so they're just um oh, i think they call them perv board uh these boards so it's got like a little copper uh plated on the back which you solder onto and if you can see that in there so we'll strip strip board is another word for them i think um yeah so this one i all i did was cut this one in half because i need a small one for this so inside this one this one controls the taco so or rev counter uh, so this gets a feed um, from the ECU, not that, that's a ground, this one here, so it gets a feed from the ECU. Now, because I'm running an old analog uh, rev counter, my ECU is only sending five, 5 volts, so it's not enough to trigger the analog rev counter, so it won't actually show. Uh, so what you need to do is run in a 12 volt uh, supply um, through a relay now the relay you don't wire it up like you would normally so you terminate inside this you take this apart uh, and you terminate 30 and 87 so you disregard those and cut those out but you keep uh, 85 and 86 so those you just link you need a 12 volt supply through through that relay uh, which is this one here um, and then that, that goes into one side of the transistor. Oh, sorry, no, it goes through that resistor. Then into the into the transistor. Um, and then on one, one side of the transistor, you've got the, um, the other side of the relay. Um, and on the other, you've got the one that goes off to... Where is it? It goes off to the TACO, basically. Uh, it's this one, I think. No, no, it's not that one. Yeah, this one here. So, uh, yeah, that goes off to the, the taco. So what happens is, is it it, uh, it sends a pulse and then because you've got a 12 volt supply through this relay, it, it, it pulses so you get a, a stronger current. So it registers on the your, your, your analog um, rev counter. So it sounds really complicated, but you can see that is a really, really simple circuit. Um, I've added an LED there, which I'm going to put through the top there, through that little hole, uh, just to make sure that I can see that this is actually working. Um, and that it's getting a pulse uh, from the ECU. So um, the ECU gets its pulse from the uh, trigger wheel on the end of the crank. So as that goes into the ECU, there's um, a wire that you can 
uh, take off the ECU uh, to go off. To, that normally goes off to a rev counter, which is um, if you've got a digital one, then it's not really an issue. But because, say, it's analog, uh, then you have to change things around a little bit to make it work. So uh, anyway, it's me waffling on, saying how how good it's going to work and the rest of it. Haven't even tried it yet, so <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to work myself. But um, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, that's the TACO uh, controller box all terminated. Uh, I couldn't fit that inside the relay, which is quite disappointing. But yeah, it's all too tight in there, so I didn't want to damage the circuit board. So I've actually made a little hole in the side and I've just stuck that out the side there. So I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably glue that on the side or something. It's going to be out of the way anyway in the car, so it's not really a big issue. The only other thing I could do is um, join these the wires here and take uh, the relay and fix it to the bulkhead or something. Um, and do it that way, uh, either either, doesn't matter. Um, and these are the uh, connectors I'm using. So these are crimped on. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and then they've got this, this waterproof seal that goes into the uh, the back of the connector. So, so that's, the, uh, that's the crimp tool. So you just put it in there and then squeeze it. Job done really 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 good connector and um, yeah these are these are right, so successful um, a lot stronger than soldering they don't break off once you've crimped them they they kind of stay on there so yeah so uh, anyway if anybody would like um, the wiring diagrams for these not an issue uh, just drop a comment and um, I'll post a, another quick video with uh, with the wiring diagrams or a picture of the wiring diagrams. Okay, cheers for now.